Describe your earliest memory. Okay. So my earliest memory is from when I was 18 months old. Um, my grandma had like a little Fisher Price slide in her living room, and I went down head first like this, <laughs> and I broke my arm. My mom got me this one of those toy black SUVs that you can sit in. <laughs> And I loved it, and it's behind my house now. I'm pretty sure there's still a Capri sitting there from my birthday party. <laughs> Where did you grow up, and what was it like to grow up there? I was born in Staten Island, but for most of my life, I lived in Las Vegas, and it was very different than here because people are less open in expressing their feelings, and there isn't really an LGBTQ community. What does it mean to you to be a member or an ally to the LGBT community? As a member of the community, I feel like I can help others who are like afraid to come out or not accepting of their feelings. It means I get to express myself, and I haven't been able to do that because I haven't really found out who I am yet. But like over the past few years, I have, and now like I feel like I can express myself truly like around the people that I love and care about. How important is your high school GSA group to you? It's really important because there's a lot of um, freshmen coming in and sometimes they also ask themselves questions and they're unsure. So GSA really helps them, you know, feel accepted and comfortable. It's like my highlight of the week. This GSA is so, it's just, it's just the one place I could just admit that I am who I am and um, it's really great. It feels like very like connecting and everything like I feel like it's like a family like you always have someone who can like understand you even if you don't understand yourself. I think it's very important so that students know that there's uh, other people out there and that there's somewhere they can go to where they can express themselves. It's important to have a way to show that LGBT people are valid even when like they're still accepted and all because in reality they're still going on an onward battle of acceptance. If you could suggest something your community or high school could do to be more welcoming and inclusive, what would it be? I think at our own GSA we should have meetings where we could give each other advice, like a meeting solely dedicated to giving each other advice. I feel like not a lot of people even talk about how we have GSA. Not a lot of people know about it. One thing that I would suggest to the school is maybe more Pride Days because we had the Pride Day the other day and I remember everyone was so happy and so open. It was really nice to see everyone just being themselves. When did you find out you were gay? I want to say around 8th grade, yeah, I just started asking questions because, you know, I never really liked boys that much and I always thought, oh, I'm going to be alone, <laughs> but then I'm like, do I even like girls, and, you know, I knew. <laughs> It was more of, like, I had a lot of guy friends because no girls lived on the block, so I think that kind of started it. What do you think may be an important issue for the senior LGBTQ individuals? I actually just read about this. Um, they said that one of the things is they may have to have separate nursing homes for them because of harassment that could take place in regular nursing homes from more conservative, conservative seniors. I feel like their friends wouldn't really understand it because in the time they grew up in, they wouldn't really understand how they feel. Um, I would say just, it's okay to be who you are. Not everybody has to like you. You are perfect.